Welcome to my life. What's up, Steve's fam? Today we are back today with another banger, another video, of course. Post a sneaker video about a month ago. That was, it's a Nike hype dead. If you guys have not checked that video out, make sure you please go and check that video out. That I have here for you today for a review. The sneakers that we have the Jordan 1 Heritage, and then we ha also have the Military Force, uh, the Black Military Force, really. I've also had the Military Blue Force. Um, I did sell those out of my collection, but now it's time for a new and improved military in the collection. So we're gonna get right into these do it on foot. I'm gonna tell you what I think. And if the sneaker we're going to get into today is going to be the Jordan 1 Heritage. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the box. Size tag. And something else that I've never noticed on any other box, tell me if you guys noticed this on the Jordan 1 box right there. It says 1985, Jordan 1. So really what I'm thinking is this sneaker has to do with something with 1985. I have seen some samples of a blue and white pair that look exactly like this from 1985. And I've heard rumors saying that this is just a one off of that shoe. Um, instead of using blue, they use the red. So let's get right into it. Unboxing the shoe, it comes with some extra laces. You get some red laces and some white laces to go with them, just in case you don't want to rock the black laces. I definitely will be switching these laces out. I don't know if I want to go with the red laces or the white laces, but you know, honestly, I might go ahead and do it like we did back there in 2015 and just put two pair of laces in the sneaker. You never know, I bring that style back for real. So we're gonna get right into the leather. The leather in this red is actually very good quality leather. It's a, uh, you can move it around a little bit. It's not that hard plasticky feel leather, but it does have the leather printing still on the sneaker and everything. You can tell it's actually leather by just looking at it. The white on the sneaker, it does feel a little bit of a cheaper material leather than the red does, but it's still a great quality shoe overall. You still have that Nike Air on the insole and that amazing DS smell. When you get, you know, it, you know how it is. That smell though. It does have red soles on it. On the bottom it says Nike with the little trademark symbol. Um, just, you know, your basic Jordan one really. But this colorway, I'm surprised this colorway is actually sitting on shelves. Um, before this sneaker release, I had so much hype on it. Everybody thought it was gonna fly off shelves, but now that it's here, like a lot of the Jordan ones that we have been seeing here recently, if they look totally different from pictures, but in my opinion, this still is an amazing sneaker. This sneaker is going to eventually start to come up. So if you are one of the resellers, I would say go ahead and buy into this sneaker and just hold it really, because I do see this sneaker coming up in the near future in the resale market. But as of right now, if you want this sneaker, go get this sneaker uh, while they're still cheap because I see in the next month, two months, this sneaker is going to go up because it is all white and with the red. And that's just a sneaker that you can wear in the summertime, you know, pull off a couple fits with, you know, or a Hoochie Daddy shorts on, got dang with some Jordan ones on. And this red and white colorway is the closest colorway that we have gotten in a while to the Chicago's. So I feel like these are eventually gonna go up. I feel like they're gonna be like the Spider-Mans that came out. Um, they were very low at first and then they just shot out the roof. So I feel like this sneaker right here is going to be a sneaker. The resellers are gonna want it. So make sure if you want this pair of sneakers, grab this pair of sneakers before the resellers realize the value on these sneakers. Um, I was at Champs the other day and I did see these sneakers sitting at Champs. Um, they still have a couple sizes on sneakers app just sitting. They have kids and they have grade school. So make sure if you want a pair for yourself, for your kids, for your baby, anybody, go ahead and get on sneakers app and you definitely can get a pair before they sell out. They're just sitting. So make sure you grab your pairs. I've actually been thinking about doubling up on them. Um, grab me some kid sizes, get my girl a pair and then we can twin and then I can have a couple of extra pair in the vault. So whenever they do shoot up because they're going to shoot up. Picked up that I picked up was also these Jordan 4s, uh, the military black. So as you open a box, matter of fact, let's look at the box on the front of the box. You have the flight, just like on every Jordan 4 box you get. 
you got the price tag right there on that side. I did get a size eight and a half, 10 in women's. Something I did notice about these shoes though, is they're not putting the pricing on, the recommended pricing on the shoes anymore. So I'm guessing that's like a thing that Nike's doing. They don't know if they wanna sell the shoe for 200 or 210. So I guess they just let the foot lockers a chance, all the foot sites and everything know a couple days before. So getting into this Jordan for Military Blacks, it has the elephant parent paper or just splattered paper, tissue paper in hand. This is a beautiful sneaker. I love this sneaker so much. So as you can see right here, we got the black. It's kind of like a, it's a matte black kind of. It don't really have, well, it's a light gloss black. It don't really have too much gloss on it, but it's not matte. Um, it has a little bit of shine. Then we have some suede. This gray area right here is suede. Looks like it's durable. Look like, um, you know, it's not gonna get messed up. It's a little bit harder. The leather quality on the shoe, it's, a, it's okay leather. It's not cheap leather. The quality of this sneaker is way better. I would have to say the quality of these Jordan 4s, it seems like they're actually doing something with quality control now. I don't have all these glue stains and all these marks on my shoe, paint chips and all the other junk on the shoe like with this one. I also got these Jordan 4s, the Red Thunders, on release day, and the quality of these shoes was horrible. They had glue stains on them. They had, um, some people had paint chips. They had runs on the red paint. It was just a whole bunch of stuff that you could tell quality control was not actually paying attention. It was like they didn't care about their job when these were releasing, but it's like Nike actually stepped in with these and said something and, you know, stood up to make sure that our quality control on these military black Jordan 4s is actually something good. On the end sole of the uh, Jordan 4 uh, military black, it has a black tongue with that uh, Air Jordan on it. As always, that Air Jordan is upside down. Then we got inside, you got a black sole with the Jumpman back there. These are a size eight and a half, like I said earlier in men's. Um, this material right here, the sock liner, it's like a silky, it's like a silky material. I just feel like they could have used something, a better material than that. Maybe if they would have just kept the whole inside of the shoe black, you know, um, because over time, as you wear these shoes, that material is gonna start getting dirty. It don't matter how clean you keep the outside, that material is gonna start getting dirty. It's gonna be hard to, you know, it's not gonna match as good. When it starts getting dirty, it's not going to match as good with the shoe as if it was like, a black color or something that's harder to get dirty but other than that this is a shoe that i have no complaints about the bottom of the shoe like a regular jordan 4 except you got your black with your jump man and white this is an amazing shoe as always the jordan 4 is one of my favorite shoes i remember probably like six months ago i was at a sneaker store and we was in there all talking and we was having a debate of what sneaker we think is going to be the next hot things or you know come back out what is nike gonna do next and i said jordan 4 i was like they're going to release more jordan 4s they have to release more jordan 4s they've already been releasing too many ones they've been releasing too many dunks eventually that hype is going to start to die off and they're going to have to release something that the people actually want and i said jordan 4s and everybody always all say you know I don't see them releasing the Jordan 4s. They already did too many collaboration with the Jordan 4s. The only collaboration that they really had with the Jordan 4s was the Travis Scott Jordan 4s. That was the only thing that they had made that was doing any kind of numbers. So other than collaborations, what can you release that the people are still gonna want no matter what? And I said, Jordan 4s, you can never go wrong with a pair of Jordan 4s. I have so many Jordan 4s in my collection. Maybe uh, if this video gets six likes, that's very low, I know. But if you can get this video to six likes, I would definitely drop my uh, sneaker collect, my Jordan sneaker collection, show you guys all my Jordans and everything that I have in my uh, collection, Jordan worthy. Um, so basically, out of these two sneakers that I just picked up, the Heritage Ones and the Black Militaries, I would say they're both gonna do numbers eventually. This one is already doing numbers, but that Heritage is eventually going to do numbers. So if you can get your hands on this for a fair, the military black for a fair price, I would definitely get my hands on the military blacks for a fair price and you, you'll be able to double your money. 
um, with the Heritage ones, they are still sitting in a lot of foot sites, foot stores. So just go into your local Foot Locker Champs, uh, Hibbits, and you might actually find those Heritage ones just sitting. I've been to like three or four different Foot Lockers and I've seen the Heritage one sitting. I've seen the, what, the 72 and 10 Jordan 11 lows sitting. So I'm really thinking maybe the whole reselling idea of sneakers, um, you know, is starting to die down. Maybe people are realizing people don't have as much money as they did two years, three years ago. Um, right now we are in a recession if you want to believe it or not. So a lot of people are realizing, you know, the whole sneaker, people don't want to just waste their money on sneakers and then on top of that, pay outrageous prices for them. So if you're really into sneakers and you really want to get sneakers in this hard time, you know, just go to your foot sites and everything. Go to the stores, Foot Locker, Champs, all that habits. And every, you never know, you could uh, look up on some of these. My local mall actually did have a couple extra sizes of the military black. I was out of town driving, uh, so I didn't have the chance to grab any of the extra ones that they had in store. So, um, like I said, you never know, man. If you're really into sneakers, you don't want to pay that resale price, just go to the foot store. You never know. Call ahead, see what they have in stock. Um, like I said, man. Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see my Jordan 4 collection or my Jordan collection just in general, make sure you drop that down in the comment and we'll get right into it. Thank you for watching. Steve's fam, we out. Make sure y'all get this video to six likes. Make sure you like it, comment, and share it, all right? If y'all get this video to six likes and y'all share it, uh, let's get let's get to 50 views, bro. Let's get to 50 views. So make sure y'all share this video. At 50 views, I'm gonna definitely do an on for the East Jordan 4 Military Blacks. So I'm gonna do some outfit ideas. Uh, outfit ideas. So I'm about to leave in a couple of days for work. And whenever I get home, if we have 50 views, I'll definitely be doing some outfit ideas, how to rock your uh, military blacks. Um, and I'll do some outfit ideas of how to rock the um, Jordan 1 Heritage. So make sure that you guys like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel. If you like what I'm posting, make sure you um, do what I just post, you know, just do what I just said, you know. I ain't telling you what to do. I can't tell you what to do. I can't make you what to do, you know, but you can do what you want to do, and I just want you to help me help you help me. Grow the channel. Thanks, Steve Fan. Welcome to my life. Not stopping, not stop lights. Up all night long. Listen to my songs. Knowing she sing along. She won't leave me long.